Good morning, good morning, it's day 91. There's a fire starting in my heart, reaching a fever pitch and it's bringing me out the dark. Finally, I can see you crystal clear. Go ahead and sell me out and I'll lay your ship bay. See how I'll leave with every piece of you. Don't underestimate the things that I will do. There's a fire starting in my heart. Reaching a fever pitch and it's bringing me out the dark. The scar. my singing so sorry here's my breakfast I'm trying to use up that bread uh, this is French toast uh, I'll put the calories up it's um, white bread sugar-free syrup uh, skim milk and eggs a little bit of cinnamon <sighs> oh my goodness when was the last time I talked to you I'd had French toast is that the last I talked to you? Well, after that I watched a little bit of TV and then I decided that I was going to go shopping because I have not been shopping in a while. Um, I had some reward certificates from Staples and I've been wanting to get some file folder, hanging file folders and I needed Staples. So I was waiting for those reward certificates to come so I got those and so I wanted to go to Staples and uh duh and <laughs> I also hadn't gone to Publix yet this week um so I decided to go there too uh, so anyway I gathered all my stuff I was um kind of in a pissy mood because um oh and on the way out the door I had a 90 calorie chocolate pretzel special K bar I was kind of in a pissy mood because it's my day off and Brian is like running himself ragged because he decided that he was going to start P90X again tomorrow, or today, or yesterday, I mean. God, I'm scatterbrained. Anyway, so between trying to entertain the kids, feed them, take care of them, keep them happy, exercise, eat, and he was trying to sign up for a class today, and his school is freaking retarded. They are completely stupid. It's the University of Texas at Arlington and he takes classes online through them because he's trying to be a nurse. Well, whatever. You can never get a hold of anybody. Nobody knows anything. They're always passing the book to somebody else and he's always got some kind of hold on his account for some reason and nobody knows anything and it's just really frustrating. So, yeah, that's what was going on here. So I decided to get out uh, because uh, Brian's going to take Madison to the splash pad, so I wanted to get that done so I could be back to give him the van so that he could take them, and then also I was going to still do my step class tonight at 6. Well, so I was on my way to Staples, and like I said, I was just kind of in an off mood, and there's a puppy store, uh, right, pup, or a pet shop, puppy shop, whatever, right on the way to Staples. So anyway, I thought that would be such a great idea to go in there and just see the puppies and be happy for a few minutes and, um, you know, maybe it would rub off and uh, make me in a good mood. Well, it did work. The puppies were so adorable. Oh my gosh. I held like probably ten of them, not all at the same time. <laughs> little Chihuahua, little Maltese, little um, Spaniel. Um, oh, they're just so cute. Um, I love puppies. And we talked about getting another puppy, but Brian really doesn't want to, and it would take a lot of 
to talk him into it. Of course, if he were to actually see the dogs in there, I don't think it would take much. Um, but they were like so outrageously priced, like it was not even funny. Um, but oh my gosh, this like, what did they call him? Like a Captain something Spaniel. Oh my gosh, this dog had like the sweetest face. But it was $1,200. <laughs> and then this little girl, Chihuahua, she was like, she was just ripping and raring to go, man. She had lots of energy. She was so cute. She was on sale for like five fifty or something like that. Or six fifty, I can't remember. Something extravagantly ridiculous that I can't afford. Uh, but anyway. I don't need something else to do. I know I don't. I don't need anything else to do. I don't need anything else to take care of. I don't need anything else on my to-do list, but I'm actually getting a little bit of baby-itis, and I know that a puppy will help me. <laughs> anyway, back to the diet vlog. Um, so I went to Staples, got my stuff, went to um, Moe's, which is like a Mexican, like, fast casual place. And I always get the home wrecker burrito, um, but I decided to try to go healthier, um, so I got it over lettuce instead of in a tortilla. So I don't know how much that was. I did have sour cream on it, um, but it was probably only like, hmm, it was less than a quarter cup of sour cream. It's probably like two or three tablespoons. Then all the rest of it was pretty healthy. I did chicken instead of I usually get pork. So I did chicken and then black beans, rice, and just uh, onions, pico, you know, the sour cream. Oh, there was some cheese on it too, but probably like one serving of cheese. It wasn't that bad. It was really good. And um, so then I left there, went to Publix, and I was at Publix for a long time. Just got home to a freaking craziness here. And I bought a bunch of uh, pure protein bars. Um, that's the brand name of them. Because they were on sale for a dollar and I had buy one get one free coupons, so pretty much 50 cents a piece. And I got seven chocolate ones because Brian is starting this, you know, P90X. And when you're in the first 30 days or whatever, you have to do like a really high protein diet, low carb. And um, so I thought, you know, these would be great for him because he likes granola bars and, you know, just more protein. Because meat is obviously expensive. So I thought he would like those and he didn't and he snapped at me and he's busy trying to still be on the phone and on the computer trying to sign up for his classes and everything and so whatever. But I had to get one of the blueberry crumb uh, kind uh, because they were all out of the chocolate. I only had seven chocolates so to get eight because I had whatever. I had to get eight. Um, but I just had that blueberry crumb one. Oh my god. It was so gross. It was gross. I really had to force myself to eat it. And the only reason why I did is because, um, you know, I just knew that it was good for me. I only had two grams of sugar, 190 calories for the blueberry crumb one. And I knew that it would fill me up. Even though I wasn't all that hungry, I figured it's a good time to eat. Um, it's a couple hours before I'm going to work out. And I don't know if I'll eat again uh, before then. Um... But anyway, yeah, that was gross. Don't get it. I don't know what the chocolate tastes like, but I'm sure I'm going to be eating them a lot because Brian's probably not going to eat them, and I'm not going to let them go to waste. So other than that, I uh, made some, put some lean, um, what do they call it? It was some lean cut of pork. Um, I put in the crock pot. Like, there was a whole bunch of it that I got on sale. Sweet Bee, I think it was. Um... I put it in the crock pot with light barbecue sauce last night and I put it on low for eight hours and I took it out and put it in the fridge. So that's what we'll be eating for dinner along with, I don't know, some kind of vegetable or something on the side, I guess. So I'm going to track my food now and uh, try to relax for a little while while they're gone and then get ready to go to step class. I'm kind of excited. I hope everything goes okay. Other than that, let me tell you about my weigh-in this morning. For some reason... 165. So, 0.6 up from yesterday. 
and uh, total so far lost phase two, one pound. Well, thanks to my um, sometimes not th so thoughtful husband, I'm not going to make it to step class today. I'm not going to say what I'm really thinking because that would be really mean and not fair and I'm just angry. So, yeah. He, I guess, didn't hear me when I said that I was going to class. Um, like, the three or four times that I told him and, you know, whatever. <sighs> I may look in on the class and see if it's even anything that I would have been interested in in any way. Um, I'm just really aggravated and annoyed right now. I actually shouldn't even probably be recording, but again, you know, this is about highs and lows that come with everyday life and trying to lose weight and being a mom and stuff. You know, it's not just all cupcakes and sunshine and rainbows and puppy dogs, you know. So anyway, I'm going to go to the gym and work off some aggression. How about that? What was I mad about? There's my dinner. That's 4.4. Well, I ate some of it. Ounces of very lean um, pork loin pieces with um, Alana. One third of a serving of barbecue sauce on it. Bunch of green beans with half a serving of country crock on it. And half a cup of instant mashed potatoes for 110 calories. And I'll tell you what the total calories is. Hey guys. It is 20 to 10, and I'm going to end my vlog now. And I'm going to have some dolce de leche sugar free jello pudding for 60 calories. I have 50 calories left. I may have a yogurt later. I may have some other kind of snack. I had uh, planned on having my 110 calorie frozen yogurt bar, but I'm just kind of in the mood for pudding. Maybe I'll have another one. Um, while I was at the Y, I walked in the step class. Um, I observed it for a second from outside. They were already into their warm up, like five, six, seven, eight minutes. Um, so I didn't want to go in. They already had everything set up, and um, I was afraid it was like a step dancing class, which it wasn't. It was like step aerobics. And from what I saw of was probably the uh, warm up. It looks like something that I could possibly do. So. That's good, so I, I know that I can check that out again. I was upset uh, that I didn't make it, but I ended up having a great workout anyway, and like I said on the, the short clip as soon as I got out, by the time I was done, I had forgotten completely that I was even mad. So, um, yeah, I did 20 minutes on the ARC elliptical, um, which if you've never seen it, it kind of just looks like a weird kind of elliptical machine. And the guy was trying to tell me something about how it keeps you kind of more in an ergonomic kind of thing. Something about your knees being in line with your ankles or something. I don't know. Anyway, instead of on a regular elliptical where I feel it a lot in my front, the fronts of my thighs, like my quads, and in my, ca my calves, I felt this a lot in my butt. Which is good because I have a pancake booty and I really want to pop that sucker out. Okay? Um, so I did 20 minutes on that and then I did 20 minutes on the stepper elliptical that I've told you guys before which there's only one in my whole Y um, and I love it and it burns like 10 calories um, a minute and uh, I really like it I like it a lot more than a, a regular elliptical too so I will definitely go back to those two again um, I did wear my heart rate monitor it estimated 578 calories for my 40 minute workout and I'm not going to go by that. I think the better thing for me to do, um, especially when I'm doing machines, is to either go by what the machines are telling me or find my average heart rate and use my online calculator that I linked to um, a couple days ago. Um, in those calculations, I burned about 400 calories, 398 or something. So that 
leads to the same conclusions as I was just telling you about 10 calories a minute. Uh, so that's what I'm going with. Now when I'm in classes, the only thing I can really do is kind of take my average heart rate or I can go with the either the level calculation on my heart rate monitor or take my heart rate right after and let it conclude that. I'm just going to, again, play that more by ear. Um, showed you my dinner. I've just been chilling out. I had a little bit of uh, my Fuse drink. I need to drink some more water. Have my evening snack. I'm going to upload this vlog in the morning, but I'm going to save it tonight because I uploaded two vlogs today because I got so behind. Um, what else? If I go to Body Flow tomorrow at 11, which I plan on doing, I will have worked out every day of Phase 2 except for one, which was the first Sunday. Um, and had I known that I was going to be able to keep it up, I would have worked out that day too. But anyway, um, that's it for me tonight, and I'll talk to you guys tomorrow.